So today I'm literally putting 28 sheep in my backyard. I have 28 sheep in my backyard right now. Not necessarily by choice, but they're in my backyard. And you're probably looking at this video because maybe you searched backyard sheep. Well, I'm gonna put a little quick input as to whether or not I think backyard sheep will work right up front. And then I'm gonna get to the story as to why there are 28 sheep in my backyard right now. Backyard sheep, let's say a quick couple of words. I would do backyard sheep if I was feeding them entirely up off the ground, but I don't think backyard is a really good idea for a grazing program. I had friends who raised two dorpers in their backyard, finished them out for meat, and had a great time of it. But I would not graze them in my backyard because they're gonna be eaten too close to their manure and it's just not good for any sheep. They're gonna get worms. So if you had a feeding program where they were in a trough or up off the ground, I think that would work out pretty good. Anybody else who has input could leave it in the comments below. But I'm gonna to get to the story of why there are 28 sheep in my backyard today. So I get the text not once but twice from my neighbors, your lambs are on the highway. they're still at the phase in life where they do believe the grass is always greener on the other side. All right, so what happened is that we are in the very, very last paddock in our winter pasture before beginning our spring grazing. Well, that last pasture just happens to be really close to a road and the lambs are still small enough to squish through the six inch hog panel and they are tempted enough by the green grass on the other side to do just that, not once but twice. Um, so today I am kinda putting together an emergency strategy. To be honest, the lambs right now are grounded and they've been locked inside of the puppy's cage, but I can't leave them there super long. I have to get them out because they are still need their mom. So I'm gonna be setting up a paddock in my backyard. We have about two acres that our residence sits on. We don't usually graze through here, but sometimes we do, and this is gonna be one of those times. I'm gonna try by myself the extra seven days, get them away from the highway because of the lamb situation, and they're gonna be grazing in our backyard. So that's all I can think of to do. I'm gonna do that for today and see what happens tomorrow.
cleaning up all the trash and prep for moving them over here in the backyard. I'm gonna have to let chicken lady know that her uh, chicken has a hiding spot. one to the backyard sheep paddock. I'm pretty sure CrossFit has nothing on farming. This was intense y'all. I'm gonna need some more peanut butter cups to make up for this. So why am I putting sheep in my backyard? Why don't I just move them to the other pasture seven days early? Well this spring my primary goal with my grazing plan is to make it a big part of my parasite management strategy. This field that we're getting ready to move in for spring is what we're gonna be lambing in. And it's been resting for 90 days so far. I wanna get it as much rest as possible and then we're gonna graze it pretty hard through spring and then leave it for the remains of summer and fall. So by moving them there a week early, it's really, really going to be edging into that plan that I spent a really long time making and I kind of have it mapped out to a T. So doing this strategic move through the front yard and backyard um, is just gonna kind of allow me to maintain my focus with respect to that plan. So maybe I'm crazy, maybe I should just move over there a week early, but to me this is worth it since I have such a strategy going on for grazing in that and so many different objectives um, for waiting on that day that I'm actually gonna wait. There is so much in me that is grateful that I do not have a more powerful charger because there have been so many times I have touched the electric fencing in wet boots. And give me a comment below if you've ever done that yourself. Yeah, basically it'll blast you into next week, no matter how weak your charger is. Um, so when I started last summer and this whole farming thing, I was like, I have to do this. I have to start now. I can't wait. Um, and so I didn't know anything about electric fencing. Didn't know anything about farming. So I went to my garage. My parents had this old charger. And I was like, I don't even know how this thing works or if it'll work. So anyways, I pulled it out of my parents' charger, got it revved up. It worked fantastically. Went to my local hardware store, bought as many white plastic posts as they had, plus some poly tape and I just started rotational grazing. Now I'm kind of making the investment down the road in some bigger chargers because the sheep aren't really respecting that small of a charge on certain days and plus the brush encroachment really, really kills it after a while. Um, but, but I just want to say, get started with what you have, okay? Don't feel ashamed if it's stinky. Just start, just start. And I have to make an official confession about multi-species grazing. We put a huge pause on it over, um, January, I think it was, because we were doing some really deliberate supplementation for in the individual animal needs, and the sheep were getting into the cows, and the cows were getting into the sheep, so we separated them. You'll see the cows on the ridge back there. Uh, didn't work over over winter. For spring, we're gonna do a leader follower instead of multi-species. I think the multi-species would work over spring and summer, um, but I'm gonna be utilizing the cows as sort of a forerunner for the sheep Plus the sheep are, um, the cows are finishing animals. They're steers, I'm sorry, they're not cows. Um, but the steers are finishing animals and so I'm gonna kinda let them graze the best and fatten up. And then the sheep are gonna come in because they are physically capable of grazing lower than the cows. So that's how it's gonna go for spring grazing. That's the plan at least. 